Yeah. You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Check it out now. Of the best entertainment. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Best of the best entertainment presents your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, yo, yo. What's going down, man? It's your boy, Sir Quentin, from Best of the Best TV, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up-and-coming, and established artists. Today, we rocking out with... Introduce yourself. Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Black and Latin. A.K.A. Black and Latin TV, man. Y'all know what it is. How you doing, sir? Man, thank you for coming to the show, man. I already know. So, man, we work together, man. We we worked together in the past, man. So, right, so what right. you been up to lately, man? Shit, lately, man, uh, I've been really just really mashing down on the fan base that I've been creating, like, from uh, Atlanta, Orlando, Tampa Bay, stuff like that. Yeah, you've been uh, moving a lot. I've been seeing you. Right, I had I was just in Chicago. I did a little some, uh, you know, we tearing Milwaukee up. We, you know, what I mean, up north, Appleton, Green Bay, all that shit. So I just been moving, bro. Right, so we gonna we gonna take a blast to the past real quick, man, because you we we know your name was Chef, and right, you transitioned right. over to Black Aladdin. So where did the name Chef derive from? We gonna start with that one first. The name Chef Boy that just came from like, well, my first ever rap name it was just Detroit. You know what I mean? It was actually Lil D Trey. Then I took the Lil Wall. Then it was just D Trey. Then, uh, like, as I kind of like got in high school, it was like I had to put some type of flavor on that. So I was just, I really had a mixtape called Chef Boy R D Trey. It's just something I was playing with. And like, everybody just got to calling me that after I did that mixtape and shit. I just ran with it. So I just made it. Yeah, so y'all make sure y'all go on YouTube and check that out, man. So, then you transition to Black Aladdin. That's a that's a tight that's a tight name because you know you fly right. as hell, man. Yeah, but, everybody. So like where that did that name. name derive from? Uh, that that really just came from like um, honestly, that I got that name when I was in jail. Uh, me and my guy we used to draw to like keep little extra food and shit in our box and shit like that. So we used to just draw shit for people around the holidays and shit. And uh, I end up drawing a picture of Aladdin for somebody for some white dude or something, and. My guy always color color the shit after I draw, so he colored it. But when he gave back to me, the Aladdin was black with dreads and shit. And I'm like, that shit crazy as hell. Like, why? You know what I mean? It tripped me out. And I um, we was playing this shit just in there freestyling. We said shit. We was we we crazy dog. We crazy. Long story short, I end up really running with the whole little goofy ass shit we had going on in there. It was weird as hell. Yeah, that's y'all y'all. He got a lot of music coming uh, coming out. That he been dropping and and everything. So what you working on now? What what project you got out that you working on right now? I see you been in the in the neighborhood canvassing and right and all kind of marketing going on, man. So spill the tea, man. Well, right now, uh, I just well shit, 2019. I dropped my first project I ever dropped on iTunes. Um, uh, it's called Official. You know what I'm saying? I had some niggas on there. Uh, shout out to the whole ETB. Shout out to uh, I had um. Uh, I had a couple people. I ain't really had too many people because I was trying to do my own thing. But I had a couple people on there. Shout out ETB. Oh, Big Ant, he helped me work on a couple beats. Reddy helped me out. Uh, Meech helped me out. Um, shout out to Key City. He helped me out with the project. It was just really something. It was just like, a, like uh, this was like one of my greatest hit CDs. Like, I just put a lot of shit that was out here heavy in the streets all in one. And it was like, like that. I really don't even count that as one of my first projects because I didn't really sit down and make all them songs to go together. You know what I mean? So it's like, y'all look out, man. We we working on a project too, man. So y'all make sure y'all look out for that. I ain't ready for that, man. I ain't ready. They don't so, want no smoke with that, man. They don't want to see Sir quitting in the black Aladdin link back up, man. And it's fuck gonna the be city so up. crazy. And by the way, I got some beats for you too, man. Oh yeah, that, that's hey, they, a lot of niggas don't even know you fire with the beats though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been doing it too. Been doing it. Big facts. Been doing it. Fuck with my guys. Some beats. Been doing it. So um, you heavy in the game, man. So um, you collab with a lot of people, but if you could collab with anybody in the industry right now, who would you collab with and why? It had to be like hands down, Polo G. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with Polo G music. I got this shit in the car right now. Like, I ain't took that motherfucker out when he dropped like June or some shit. Yeah. I ain't took that shit out yet. Cause like Polo G, if you watching, man, link, man. Shout hey, out Polo. Polo, get up with me, dog. For real, dog. Come fuck with me, man. Tap in, man. You a young nigga, you smart, you know a lot. You just seen too much. Fuck with me, Polo. I fuck with Polo G. But why would you collab with him though? Cause like 
the shit he say, like he don't just rap. It ain't just bars or it ain't just you know what I'm saying. Like he got life quotes, his verses, like and it's back to back to back. It's like shit that you can live by. Like I fuck with Dogland. Like his whole flow different. His beat selection crucial. I like all this shit. Like no dick holding shit. Polo, shout out to Polo G. I fuck with Polo. Tap in with me, dog. Shout out Polo G. But um, yeah, man. Like you working on a lot of stuff, man. You got like any shout outs or anybody that you. That you trying to fuck with in the city right now and uh in the city right now. Uh 54 baby Trey, man. Come holla at me, dog. We need to tap in, dog. I've been seeing you, dog. 54 baby Trey. I'm fucking with Solo Key. Come fuck with me, dog. Yeah, uh, we, we working on this project, man. So y'all come 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 fuck with him, man. I, I did a lot of shit with a lot of niggas. Like I got songs with uh Wap Chop. Or like Ray Nitty, uh, skills like I can go on and on. Like I done did. It's not really nobody I haven't fucked with, and a couple that I haven't fucked with. Like uh, no, like, I did shit with Lil Trey. And shit. Lil, shout out to Lil Trey too. He my favorite rapper in the city too, by the way. Um, like I got shit with Chopo, but I ain't got nothing with Looney. Shit like that. You know what I mean? Right, like right. just weird little shit. It's that just come like, with the game, though. Right. It's it's little spaces, little gaps that need to be filled. You know. Right. Shit. Hopefully, one way or another. If not, uh, Destiny Lynn. Shout out to Destiny Lynn too. She hot. You getting better? I see you. Right. So with that said, man, I just I just thought about it. I'm like, man, like, dude, been you've been rapping like for a minute. Like, what what made you start rapping? Like, what made you pick up a microphone and just start rapping? Uh, my mama was a rapper. What? Yeah, my mama was a rapper. It's in your blood, huh? Yeah, Pippin D. That's a <laughs> Pippin D. Her real name Doris. My mama was a rapper, and uh, when she was pregnant with me, dog, she that's when she did her most like shows and shit. And was doing little karaoke, and telling like just little shit. She wasn't too big yet, but it was nice. It was this nice. time you would never know about Black Aladdin. The real man. shit. Uh, his mama was a rapper. My mama was a rapper. Real Seriously. Talk. So she ever sat down to help you with your rhymes, or you ever like throw a all the time? Her? Like, Seriously? yeah, when I was younger, like, she, she used to, uh, like, at my birthday parties or anybody party and shit, like, I had I had a friend who was younger, I don't want to say his name on camera, because a lot of shit went bad for my guy, but he used to be nice, too, and, like, she'd be making us rap, she'd be pointing at shit, we got a freestyle and throw the object in the in freestyle and shit like that, or, wow. like, I, I, uh, sometimes I used to wait for my mama to get off work just so I could show her what I was working on. She'd be like, that's nice, but take that part out and do this. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, that's yeah. that's that's dope. So you yeah. still do you still run music by her right now? Sometimes, but she don't really like hearing like I wait till the project done, cause you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't let her hear nothing now and be like, listen to this, and then I'm sitting there. And I'm, she critical like Nigga, that. Nigga, bitch, man, fuck, man. Uh, she like, come on, why would you bring that? You know what I mean? Right, I right. still gotta respect the the limitations. But yeah. She get every CD. Yeah, what was her name? She got music out here? Pippin D. You would, you would never find it on the internet. It's oh, before the man. Internet, it's you got to collab with moms. You got to collab with your moms one day? Man, I, I was talking to my mama about that. She said, uh, under one condition, I can't cuss. I think you can make that happen for moms. <laughs> <laughs> I can make that happen Pippin D, y'all. Pippin D, man. Not the Pippin D. Mama, but yeah, man, we we in the mind we in the mind of Black Aladdin right now, man. And y'all, like, y'all go lock in, check out his music. Check out this, man. He, Real everywhere, talk. man. He, he got little skits, man. I just seen a little funny skit you did, man. He oh, got... yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did a skit. Shout out to D Major TV. Dog, that's my boy, dog. He funny as a motherfucker. <laughs> like, he's a motherfucking DC Young Fly type motherfucker or something. Shout out to Crystal Renee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She was holding shit down with the building. She got a lot going on, Dream 24 and all that shit. Y'all lock in with her, too. Yeah, real shit. Uh, just like uh, Legendary KCO too, I gotta shout him out because he been helping me a lot on the new projects I'm working on. Like get some beats and shit. Like I ain't, I got a mixtape on the way right now. Like me and Sir, we gonna work on the album. Right now I'm working on the mixtape. I'm cooking. I got, probably got like five, six songs left to do. Pay the plug, Volume One. That's I ain't gonna lie. You got a couple far. of tracks out here, right? Yeah. Okay. Like right, I got that pay the plug. I got the intro out right now, and I got um fan featuring Billboard Burnham. Them two singles from the mixtape I got out right now. But I'm going to go ahead and release the whole thing probably like early August, late August, mid, mid August. Y'all make sure y'all lock in. So, uh, yeah, man, like y'all make sure y'all tune in to the to the mixtape and uh, pay the plug, right? Yeah, pay the plug. Volume so, one. This is just volume one because I'm doing four volumes of this shit. So this is volume one. Man, so uh, let's, let's let's dig, man. Let's dig, let's dig deep. So, you know, it's a lot of Milwaukee beef going on, man. And we... uh. 
we even beefed. <laughs> right, 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 right. But uh, you know, we we man, we businessmen. Oh, man. So let's 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 talk about the beef that's in Milwaukee, man. Like, what's your what's your look on it? What's your take on it, man? What's what's going on? What's the tea? It, it's been dying down, like a lot of beefs that I was seeing. Well, a lot of niggas who was beefing in the Milwaukee music industry, they vanished. I don't know what the fuck happened. Like a lot of niggas went to jail. Some niggas just went under radar. I don't know if they was flopping, if they money got low, whatever the fuck. But like you seen like Cat Drive Montana and Cushy Chris. You seen certain niggas like uh Wonder Bread Ree and Mac and Mall and other motherfuckers like getting into it or like action and T Glaze, shit like that. Like that shit just it dies out, you know what I'm saying? Cause it ain't it ain't really I ain't gonna say it ain't about nothing. Like in my eyes, it ain't about shit. You know what I'm saying? Like even like me and certain artists done had our fallouts, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to pop niggas up or nothing like that, but like, y'all know who y'all is. Man, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit no more. Honestly, because that shit not getting me no no dollars. Like, it's so easy to go grab a gun and go shoot a nigga, kill a nigga, stab a nigga, poke a nigga, do whatever. It's so much harder to say fuck that shit and go get that money. It's, it's so much harder. Like, even me and you, when we had our fallout, bro, you know you was my bro. You still... Yeah. Why you think I'm here right now? Like, you my bro. Like, I don't give a fuck about nothing else. That's why, like, the closer you is with people when y'all fall out, you get even mad. Yeah. Because they meant so much to you. Yeah. It's like, when, yeah. when y'all finally, it's like, what the, this bitch ass <laughs> nigga? Like, this nigga, what the fuck? Like, it, it, it lie, man. Or like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, people say stab in the back. I really, I feel like it being hard. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But then it be like, Sometimes shit be childish. Because yeah. now, like, even our situation, first I'm pointing the finger, I'm, oh, whoa, whoa, yeah. fuck you. But, bro, I was childish in the mother. All that shit was really my fault, my yeah. nigga. Yeah, no. Nah, you know uh, what I mean? And I wouldn't apologize we, again. <laughs> you my boy, bro. Like, yeah, that y'all, shit, y'all see that, like, right? Y'all see that official shit. shake, right? <laughs> real nigga shit, 100. Like, it ain't no flaw, yeah. my nigga. Like, yeah. this my but, nigga, bro. Like, yeah, it's so much harder to get this money, man. So, man, with that said, man, like, I, I ain't trying to be nobody daddy, but, like, man, like let that beef if, if the if the good outweigh the bad, you know, Facts. just 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 let it go, man. But and you always told me real shit, like you never really, really did shit to like steer me wrong in this shit. You know what I mean? Right. We grew together with the shit. Like as you got colder with your mixing and mastering, I was getting better with my bars and my yeah. delivery and shit. You would even stop me sometimes as I knew you was fucking with me. Yeah. Cause you ain't just let me leave your studio with anything. You'd be like, no, do that over or but because you actually care about the project. Certain niggas who want to just get you in and out, they're not going to tell you do shit over none of that. And, uh, and the same same thing, man. Like, I, le- I learned so much about the craft and, like, bars and bridges and everything. Like, a whole lot of Real shit, shit that you taught me, too, man. So, like, I mean, it, it go hand in hand, man. Right, you know that's what I'm saying? We, and it'd be stupid not to it was magic, we started. Bro. It was magic, bro. It was making magic, man. Magic <laughs> studio. I still go back. Why you think, even after we was beefing, what I say, well, just send me all the songs. Because <laughs> we went crazy. Like, it was hey, even to a point let's like... Talk about, let's talk about the gas station, bro. <laughs> oh, man. We, we got to talk about this on camera. You ain't you, you got to say that. I'm say. So, I'm pumping the gas. I'm just... Normal day. Hot day. Facts. I, I, I turn to the left, and I see, I see two niggas walking towards me. What the hell? He like, hey, sir. <laughs> <laughs> when you gonna send me my music? I'm like, I'm gonna send it. No, it was, you you came by yourself. Yeah. He, he, he turned around and was like, bro, come here. Bro, like, you don't give me my shit, it's gonna be smoked. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, bro. Oh, bro. Uh, yeah. It was funny, bro. We was, we was real life beefing, man. Real life. Yeah, man. That shit on the But it, it, it wasn't. It, it, was, it, it was real life, but it wasn't real life. Yeah, you know it was, yeah, yeah. Like, it was more no, of a he just knew he was making some crack. We was making some crack, bro. He's spinning uh, that crack. He was... That's like that's like that's <laughs> like us being in the kitchen whipping the whole brick up together, and then yeah. it's like we left it at your house. You know right. what I mean? And now we just in the streets with no dope. No dope. You know what I'm saying? So we like, hey man, where my half a brick at, dog? And you like, I'm 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 gonna drop it off. We like, nigga, until you drop it off, we oh, fucked God, up. We fucked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Well, we need that, man. So it was, hey, that shit love, man. Already. All right, man. Fun, but yeah, man, we back at it, man. And y'all been in the mindset of Black Alad, man. And man, get your shout outs, man. Like, you know, let them know what's going uh, on. Let them know where to find you at. The whole nine. Man, uh, I want to shout out. First of all, I want to shout out every motherfucker who hating on me. First and foremost, shout out to all my haters. Um, Shout out to all my haters again. A lot of niggas who was rocking with me, who I'm not fucking with no more. 
Shout out to y'all niggas, man, because y'all done fucked up, man. I'm finna take flight. I'm finna jump off this jet for real. I want to shout out to everybody who's supporting the movement, the whole Stop the Violence movement. I want to shout out to um the whole Black Lives Matter movement. I want to shout out to the whole, every every subscriber on Black Aladdin TV, uh, all 26,000 of my Instagram followers, man. Shout out to y'all. It's too many to name, and I don't want to leave nobody out, but shout out to everybody supporting the campaign and everybody who got something positive going. And shout out to every artist in Milwaukee. I don't give a fuck if you rock and roll, pop, Rap, R&B, a comedian, do poetry, whatever the fuck you do. If you a chef, you an engineer, you make beats, whatever the fuck it is that you do. You do graphic design, you print shit, anything. Shout out to y'all, man. We got to keep, because all this shit is in a cycle. We ain't shit without each other. Everybody need each other. All the club promoters, DJs, everything. I love y'all. Let's keep this shit going. Don't give up on shit. Keep y'all hands up. Look to the sky. Every day you get up, shake it off, and get back to this shit, because this our city, and we got to make some 100. Y'all heard him, man. So with that said, man, it's your boy Sir Quinn. We rocking out with Black Aladdin. And y'all make sure y'all shut up and hustle. We out. We out. Love.